the lady told me, she was like, girl, you wasn't gonna be going nowhere. Not too much, Savannah, not too much. Hey y'all, what is poppin'? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl is looking well put together today. I am loving this outfit. I'm really trying to figure out what I want to wear today. This outfit is so comfortable. Oh my god, it's 100% cashmere girl and it's from Quince. And thank you so much, Quince, for sponsoring this video. Y'all know I love my luxury pieces, okay? And I'm trying to get into cashmere. And cashmere is so expensive. And why should we have to sacrifice our wallet? for luxury pieces and that's what I like about Quince they focus on affordability sustainability and also quality and they just revamped their cashmere line and baby I do not want to take this off it's so soft and they know that they have great quality pieces they have a 365 day return day policy so if you don't like it within a year you can still return it I do not want to take this off how do y'all like this outfit love the wide neck on this sweater when I instantly seen this I was like oh I want to put a polo on it I want to style that with a polo because baby what the wide neck makes it look so cute like obviously I can wear this without it but I wanted to take it up a notch a chic fall vibe and imagine this hot part situation with a skirt stocking some boots and like a trench coat baby don't tell you can't tell me nothing okay and my hair is making me want to be experimental when it comes to my fall wardrobe so <laughs> let me know how I'm doing this is the first outfit let me know let me know She's giving a little navy moment. We love her, cause I do. So this is the next outfit. And do y'all know how long I've been wanting to do like a little t-shirt peekaboo moment with like a cashmere sweater? I just love how this looks. It's giving like elevated, classy, luxurious, you know what I'm saying? And then I paired it with these cashmere pants from Quince as well. And what I like about the pants at Quince is that they have pockets in the back and the front obviously but i love a little back pocket moment chocolate brown is beautiful this outfit is so cute and then i will pair it with this bag yo this is screaming fall i i feel so cute the bob is bobbing hey girl let's go get coffee and also if i wanted to take it up a notch this is what you call a brown woman a brown woman y'all this wool coat is gorgeous i love a double breasted wool coat this is virgin wool. It's giving quality. I love it. I love the structure. This is what you go pick up your kids with after a long day of working in the office and chatting with the girls, having coffee. God, I feel so good. Quince, y'all did that. And this is another option. I just wanted to have a short sleeve cashmere option and I love the cream on this short sleeve shirt. And like I said, all of the cashmere items feel so soft. So, and this also is a little sheer, but I do just have my nipple covers on. If only y'all can feel this, like it feels like butter. And I'm probably not gonna wear this today, but it's a slip dress that I had to show y'all in this beautiful maroon color. It has a slip right here. And I would probably style this with like some boots, a turtleneck, baby, oh, she's giving fall. She's giving sophisticated. Mm. And I would probably style this with like a belt like a thick chunky belt it would give chef's kiss but i don't have one so unfortunately not it's so cute i love this is the outfit i'm gonna keep on today i just sprayed some fall perfume if you know which one i sprayed let me know down below in the comments but let me know down in the comments what y'all would be ordering from quince i am just living for this outfit okay i am just living oh my god i smell so good what I love about these items is that you can definitely mix and match this. Like, I'm definitely going to be wearing this with some jeans. Hello? So, make sure y'all shop the links down below. And thank you so much, Quince, for sponsoring this video. Everything will be linked. Your wardrobe needs a little bit of cashmere. Okay? So cute. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> I 
I know I just cut my hair, but baby, this muffin top gotta go. I definitely hit on my girl, Deja. I said, baby, it's time for me to come back, make a major comeback. With major comebacks means major risk. And I was willing to take the risk, so I said I want a new hair color asap i miss my girl so much so i was like i'm due for a quick weave like asap i'm gonna send my girl some inspo and i actually came across a video of stormy reed hey stormy baby I to go for like fall ginger vibes i don't even think i had ginger before i guess i have done red but i never did like a orangey brown vibe and you already know we're getting a closure behind the hairline deja does it the best so good so natural one thing i will say about a quick weave i hate sitting on the dryer i hate this cap it's the worst part and it's so funny while i was under the dryer i came across my favorite show on youtube pop the balloon or find love and baby i just want to know why do they walk backwards when they're going back to the front did anybody else notice that or is it just me i just i'm always asking why is she walking backwards somebody could get hurt get are you my somebody? hair done Girl, it's all fun and games until the lights go at off at this point i didn't care i was a little tipsy and i was feeling myself but maybe i just wanted to get my hair done so i can feel myself even more you said the closure. Mm, that's crazy. Mm -mm, that's okay. behind the hairline. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like Deja's client, I'm always speechless every time she does my hair. Because, baby, she executes every single time. I'm always asking, how do you get the curls to lay like this? The closure is invisible. It's not even here. It's giving my hair. And y'all, I don't even know what to expect after leaving my appointment when it was all said and done and finished. Baby, I love my hair. I love this color. I'm like, oh my gosh, should I go a little bit lighter? It gives like not too much, just enough. It gives me a nice chic look. Let me know what I should do. Let me know. Cause I, I'm, I'm keeping this color around for sure. So I had to say goodbye to Bobiana and hello, Ginger. Hey y'all, uh, I didn't get a chance to vlog my hair, but I'll put the clips in on my phone. But y'all, look at this hair. She's a ginger brown. Oh my God, it's so cute. I actually love it. It looks brown right now on camera, but it's like ginger in certain lightings. Y'all, they should ate that. She ate it up. And I'm over here feeling myself, telling myself, call my man who eats the cats. Eat the cat. Eat the cat, eat, eat the cat, eat the cat, cause I just got my hair did. And I'll eat the cat, eat, eat the cat, eat the cat, eat, eat the cat. Anyways, look at my hair. It just gives me like a chic look. And I am loving it actually. I didn't think I was gonna love it that much, but I eat the cat, eat, eat the cat. Y'all, I mean a trip. Anyway, so I had to come. Show y'all my hair. She's cute. Of course, Deja did it. And we did a closure behind the hairline. And baby, what hairline? That's so crazy how she can make an illusion of a part. It's just like invisible. You know what I'm saying? But it's actually a closure. Please don't mind my house is a mess. I just got back from LA yesterday. Can y'all see me living in LA? Do I look like an LA girl? I don't know, we'll see. I don't know where life is gonna take me, but anyways, I'm just happy as hell that I got my hair done. Okay, period. We got work to do, so. Talk to you later. Hey y'all, so I am currently in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> North Carolina, that boy got no. <laughs> no, but for real though, I am in Charlotte right now just out of here like a couple minutes ago and it's currently 11 o'clock i can't remember the last time i got ready at 11 o'clock then had to go to the club at 1 a.m like what i'm really punching the air right now and yeah and then go to the club so but at least my hair is like you know done we have the closure i'm gonna curl it and fix it a little bit but i actually like this color on me so, yeah i'm about to get ready and i'm just exhausted i'm really trying to find the energy energy you was all stop oh, mm, 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 gone for all so <laughs> i'm rambling i'm so rude um where i'm staying at the Hyatt Hotel centric y'all it's so cute in here like it's cute it's modern i'm about to show y'all in a minute 
Um, but yeah, so this is just a quick one day trip. I'm a plus one for birthday plans. So yeah, I'm like, okay, I'll come like whatever it is what it is. And then the day comes, I'm tired. But we're here and I don't want to be like that. I want to be a woman of my word, so. Bathroom. The shower is in the middle of the room. That's cute. We got a full body mirror going on. A little bench, TV, and then a cute little bed. A cute in the bathroom is like over there. But anyways, I just wanted to show y'all that if you ever want to come to, if you ever want to come to North Carolina. Okay. Anyway, let me get ready to stop playing. I hate when I commit to something and I really don't want to do it. Why the? I have a scar still from my bonnet. It's been hours later. I just got the Charlotte three hour drive. Committed to going out for birthday plan. Now we're here, it's 11 o'clock, and now I gotta go out. I gotta get ready first, then I gotta go out. Hmm? What? I'm not for this life anymore. I just wanna go to bed. <sighs> okay, well, let me get my life together. Let me get killed. So freaking update, the plans got canceled. So baby, you already know what's gonna happen. I'm re wearing re wearing this outfit. Okay, I really don't even want to show y'all for real, but you know, it's a little, it's a little, you know, you know. Let's go, little kitty cat. He's time to go. He don't want no more. I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. Oh, give it to mama. Give it, give it, give it to mama. Oh, put your freak on dress on. That's what it's giving. But I'm definitely gonna be re-wearing this, but I feel like it looks so good with this hair though. So that's the only thing. So, but yeah, I'm going to sleep. Charlotte, Baby, y'all gonna have to let me know what's tea out here because it seems so dry, first of all. It's just like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't even know. No, 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 no. I don't wanna say it's a waste of time. My makeup is cute. Like, Kylie, oh my God, this makeup routine is so freaking good. Anyways, I'm going to bed, so. Good morning, y'all. It's about to get busy. I haven't even checked in with y'all. Like, what the fuck? I got my nails done. She's giving me sexy. Sexy. I feel so crazy this morning. I feel so bloated. Sorry, my dishwasher's going. I had these fire, I made these fire burger bowls last night. But I didn't use anything crazy. I just been going to the bathroom all morning. Like, I'm full. Like, I'm stuffed. And I'm like, what? I woke up this morning, took my vitamins, and I don't know if I'm the only one, but I have to take my vitamins with something fizzy. It's a horror fest when I take vitamins. I used to not be able to swallow them, so I have to literally take the pill and put it all the way in the back of my throat, and close my eyes, and hope for the best. Oh my God. And today, I'm traveling today, and we're going to London. For the Akashé, 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 hey. Concert. <laughs> I'm excited. I really am so excited to go back to London. Last year when I went to London for the very first time. So fun and it was just what I wasn't expecting because when you grow up, you think like London is very different from the States, but it's actually better. The food is way cleaner. It's just better. It's a lot of Nigers out there. Niger babe. Ay, ay. It was what I wasn't expecting. And then I was at the Beyonce concert. I was meeting some of y'all. I was just having a good old time. And I still have to pack. I don't leave until six tonight. <sighs> I'm trying to be responsible. I'm about to go get my hair touched up. I did not shop for real for this trip. Only because I've been ordering stuff online. Ordering stuff online that you haven't even already wore. That's like shopping, right? And y'all, my closet right now. 
bad. But why did my closet fall? <laughs> this is a disaster. So I have to handle this situation. This is my sign to get rid of some stuff. Like really do a closet deep dive to clean out because this is unacceptable. Like, first of all, maybe it's not me. Maybe it's these walls. But yeah, the closet fumbled down, tumbled down. It's over, it's a wrap. And the shoes came with it. So I went to Home Depot, got a whole new um, situation. Yeah, but it's my sign. Like God is trying to tell me something. Like I literally listen to him like all the time. I have to check him with y'all light up. I really, I stayed in the studio for so I don't like, I don't like the process. Like I was, I was in the studio the day my album came out. I had to come get my hair touched up. And we did use softy and extensions. Like, so how can they get soft? Like, like cause the girls been asking. The no, website like is dropping in two I, weeks. I oh, in two weeks. Oh, so they ain't even able to place the order. No, you can only get it right now. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, that answers y'all's questions. So make sure y'all go follow her Instagram, Softy Hair, and we back in action. Hey y'all. So I haven't checked in with y'all. For a minute okay first of all let's talk about the journey to get to the airport okay i was running late when i say y'all know i don't even check bag but i'm bringing one bag with me one check bag that's it oh and i got two other bags but i only wanted to check one bag i literally made it within 40 seconds from the cutoff time the lady told me she was like girl you wasn't gonna be going nowhere not too much savannah not too much not too much savannah okay <laughs> So then that happened. So I sprinted, 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 sprinted to the international flight, right? Get there. My job, my bag got checked during security. So it's so many delays at this point. I'm running to my gate or whatever. Literally, they call in the last boarding call for the flight, right? So I'm like, oh my God, like I'm literally sprinting. It's always the last fucking gate every time I'm running late. Get to the gate. They don't check, they didn't check my bag when I scanned my boarding pass. So I'm waiting in line. It's a long line to get on the plane, y'all. So I'm waiting to get on the plane. And I'm literally in like, y'all know the little hallway right before you get on the plane. And she's like, she comes out of nowhere, y'all. It was too good to be true because y'all know I don't check my bills to time bag. She's like, anybody that's not on the plane yet, you have to check your bag. There's no room. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, mm mm. Nope, nope. nope no, 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 it's not happening. So she started checking bags from like the hallway area, which is weird. She started getting on the computer right before the door to get on the plane. When she's not looking, literally, I sprint past the girl she's checking in the bag. I'm like, no. I'm not checking my bag. So I'm on the plane. I'm my job, I'm Comfort Plus. And if you get on a Delta flight and they don't have, if you don't want to check your bag, tell them you are Comfort Plus and they have to make room for your bag. I see this girl put her bag above my seat, which I'm 14 E and I'm Comfort Plus. And the girl wants not even Comfort Plus. So I'm trying to make room for my bag and they're like, oh, there's no more room, da da da. And I'm like, no, there's, there has to be space. They're like, oh no, you gotta check your bag. I said, no, I'm not checking my bag, I'm comfortable plus. So then, oh my God, my camera's on it. So then, and they're like, okay, you just gotta find room then cause we, we can't move the bags. So then my girl Kyra, hey Kyra girl, if you're watching this, my girl Kyra, we have the same name. She's like, girl, I got you. She made room for me. If it wasn't for her, I would not be on this flight. I would not be on my way to London. Shout to her, send her some shit. Like, she really thought she was a real one. But anyways, I'm just in this Delta Lounge. And I wish I was Delta Lounge so I could be in the Delta Lounge. But anyways, I'll check in with y'all once we get on the flight. And my camera is dying. This is number one champion sound. Yeah, yeah Estelle, we about to get down. get down. You're the hottest in the world right now. Just touch down in London town. <laughs> Bet they give me a pound. Tell them put the money in my hand right now. Yes. Tell the promoter we need more seats. We just sold out all the floor seats. No interview with the NME. Cause I will only make enemy. No Q&A with the Q today. Cause I really don't have good to say. Who killing them in the UK? Everybody gonna say UK. Reluctantly, cause most of this press don't fuck with me. Estelle once said, tell me, cool down, down. Don't 
act a fool now, now. Always act a fool, ow, ow. Ain't nothing new now, now. He crazy, I know what you're thinking. Rapping, I know what you're drinking. Rap singer, chain blinger. Holla at the next chick soon as you're blinking. What's your persona about this Americana? Rhymer, am I shallow? Cause all my clothes designer. Uh, dress smart like a London bloke. Before he speak, his suit be spoke. And you thought he was cute before. Look at this peacoat, tell me he's broke. And I know you ain't into all that. I heard your lyrics, I feel your spirit. Hey y'all, so we just touched down in London town. I'm staying at the Londoner. Um, last time I stayed here, I stayed at the Westin Hotel. Wasn't my forte. I didn't like the location. I was calling Ubers and stuff. The Ubers was having a really hard time getting to me, so I didn't like that. I'm not at this time. No, 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 no. Here in London, and y'all, the hotel sees it's like this is their city view it's right in the middle of mayfair so it's so many things walkable so i can just go and get out get up and walk why is lego so freaking popular like is it like live legos i see a lego bag every five seconds so i just did a little refresh a little one two brush my teeth wash not wash my face but i sprayed a little bit of spray spray i did my skincare on the plane I don't care middle seat hello and <laughs> i'm so mad so i'm gonna make my way to paris right so i i brought up paris outfit like two of them at least i wanted to get some content in right so the first outfit is good but the second outfit y'all why did i forget my jimmy shoe shoe no mm -mm, i forgot the shoes y'all so now i have to go shopping <laughs> I have to go shopping, try to find another good shoe. Yeah, I have to revamp my whole outfit. Yeah, maybe it wasn't meant for me to wear that outfit. If I even get, if I even feel like dressing up, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I really wanted to splurge on a good blazer and also a good trench coat for the fall. I wanted to try it to find a brown suede one while I'm out here. And that's really what I was trying to spend my money on and not a new pair of shoes and not a new outfit. Oh, and also tomorrow I'm going to brunch and I had a little casual brunch outfit, y'all. Why did I forget my Adidas Sambas, the cheetah ones, to go with that outfit? Like, I don't know what I was thinking when I was packing. The only shoes I brought were my Hermes slides, two boots. And I'm like, why? how did I forget this? Like how? I'm a little, frustrated i'm about to make my way to shops and i'm gonna go to joe the juice give me a tunicado and a green juice and then i'm coming home to sleep into the concert because i'm so tired the way the flight the jet lag has me but i'm, I'm okay <clears throat> but i definitely need to go to sleep my eyes are so heavy i need to go get some topical eye patches or something i was gonna bring my good all eye patches because y'all know i love those too but it just didn't fit so <laughs> the little container didn't fit but yeah anyways we all sound in london let go that is some good ass india <laughs> I want to. Well, I want to. It feels so good out here. Hi. I ran into my girl, Jessica. Hi. She's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. You are so. So, y'all, I'm in Zara right now, right? And I probably need these pairs of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good pair of shoes. Y'all know I love me a good check card only so basically if you like something you could just directly go to the checkout and check out right here and bounce that is so crazy <laughs> i'm about to go upstairs to the women's section and see what they got but the only thing i found so far was these baby heels so
Hey y'all, so just checking in. Y'all, I'm running late for this freaking concert, so I literally just threw anything on. So I just threw on my Loewe glasses, this skim shirt. And y'all, these sweatpants jeans came in clutch. I just finally picked them up from the tailor. Ivy. Yeah, this one we're rocking with tonight. And then I just got on my Louis Vuitton little pad leather bag. So, anyways. I'll check in with y'all at the concert. I'm gonna vlog off my phone because you know they a little iffy about cameras, but yeah, I'll check in with y'all once we get there. So just got back to the hotel. Joe, he did not perform that song, but y'all, the sake concert was so good. Ten out of ten. He brought out Wizkid. He brought out Stormzy. Actually, I lied. I wouldn't give it ten out of ten. I would give it seven something out of ten. Cause once you see like Beyonce, it's nothing that compares. And also, I don't know half them songs, y'all. <laughs> I was sober, but I'm really fiending for a little drinking drink right now. So, head back to the hotel, vibing out. Um, my feet hurt so bad, but I'm so happy I left the arena right before the crowd came and it was just gonna get messy. But they have like a cute little bar downstairs. Um, so I'm gonna go get an espresso martini and probably get something to eat and go to sleep. But I had such a good time at the concert and also I met some of y'all there. I love when I meet y'all and it's just so surreal to think that wow, I really have supporters all the way out here in London, London town, my London girls. I love y'all so much. Very like, oh my God, I can't believe they watched me on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a disbelief for me sometimes. So it takes a minute for me to register in my head. Like this is my supporter, this is my girl. And it's just like, crazy to me sometimes but i love meeting y'all so much but but yeah it was a good time but yeah i'm gonna make my way downstairs and Nobody gonna free, gonna be there Keep on young cause she don't wanna 
understand All the pretty girls wanna be gay Fuck her and find out She like one of mine, now she mine now You just turn around and she gone now She never stay away Good morning, y'all. It is the second day in London, and I just got ready. I literally just got up, y'all. I slept till 12.40. So I'm about to just throw some clothes on. I'm about to go get me a green juice. I just have to go get some makeup cleaner. In my makeup bag, my makeup busted. That's why I opted not wearing makeup last night. That was one of the reasons why I didn't uh, wear makeup yesterday. I gotta hurry up, and I don't wanna put on the clothes that I'm wearing to brunch because I don't want to get all sweaty and stuff. But yeah, I gotta hurry up and make my way out the door. And I like the way my hair turned out, y'all. I end up getting the overnight blowout rods. I had these from Amazon, but these ones are a little bit better like the original because it has like a grip to it. It holds your hair. Like you know how your hair can be so slippery. The Amazon ones don't hold it for real. I like them and oh my God, my hair. I just got them. Literally, I got them in the mail right when I was coming here. So I had to keep playing around with them. I played <laughs> around with them a little bit on the plane. And then I got the birthday anniversary set. So it comes with three big rods. I think this one is a jumbo. So it comes with a jumbo and I like how she has her little OB as the little clamps. That is so cute. Three, two medium these two small ones yeah. anyways let me get ready and stop rambling and let's go explore London to be on my way to Elise's. It's like an hour, like 45 minutes from central London. But I'm about to go on brunch. I'm super excited and they had a hookah here. So we'll see girl, but I'm super excited. And it's so rainy and gloomy right now. My hair is a mess. Like I need to go wash it. I had to throw on my favorite cropped blazer. Like I want this blazer, but like a long version. My Loewe tank top, of course. Um, these Zara slacks and then my Chanel bag and then my real heels because no makeup again because I didn't wasn't able to stop at boots for makeup cleaner so yeah but anyways I'm I'm feeling the clean skin and everything so and it's gonna be today I'm gonna rush out the hotel room y'all to get here on time but yeah so I'll check my job once we get there I'm excited I'm starving I'm starving like Marvin the um, attention of the man who the man who the Wait, I can't call Elise's. Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, that's it.
y'all so i'm back at the hotel just came from alicia's y'all alicia's is a vibe the food was okay i got like some lamb i really didn't eat it for real but they got hookah girl literally i'm, I'm buzzing right so i'm actually about to go to another restaurant called happy from a recommendation and y'all, oh my God, my pinky. And y'all are blowing my line up with these nails. Um, me and Tim actually came up with this red. I love it. It's called Hertz, like the ketchup. Cause it's like this red ketchup nail color. I just posted the photo on my Instagram. Y'all gotta blow up Tim for the color. So I actually asked today, I'm like, hey, what's the colors we use? Cause I need to tell the girls. He was like, oh, I'm off today. Okay, so I couldn't even tell you. So I was like, okay, well I'm gonna tell them to blow you up for the color. So y'all gotta blow Tim up for the color. But I think this red is so cute. And I feel like it will look good on all single skin tones. So if you recreate, let me know. So I'm about to go to this restaurant and I'm tipsy, but I'm just vibing. Like I love London. Like it's just such a vibe. So. Um, it's so many people out bike riding and stuff. I really want to bike ride. Yeah, I might bike ride today. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going off the vibes, y'all. I'm really just here with the vibes. But yeah. So, I'll see y'all when we get to Happy. And I'm going to walk there because it's not too far from the hotel. two days okay i slept in baby okay the jet lag is jet lag but today is just gonna be an exploring day today which i'm super excited about and i want to make my way to the cinema i want to do like london things i seen big ben already been to the bridge and stuff like that so i want to do different things today i want to go have tea um sorry i need to lift the girls up they're a little saggy yeah, but this is my outfit today. Y'all, I don't even know if I even said this, but I left like two pairs of shoes I was supposed to wear with outfits. One I was supposed to wear in Paris, and this one I was supposed to wear my Cheetah Samas that I never wear, okay? And I'm so upset about it because this was supposed to be like a casual little daytime fit. <clears throat> so I need to chop and screw it a little bit, but I'm in love with this polo. So cute and I have my fairy jewelry and then this belt is from heaven mayhem and these pants these pants are from Levi jeans they actually took these in for me and then we changed this detail right here to red which is super cute so I'm like okay I have this scarf right this little cheetah scarf so I'm like since I don't have cheetah shoes um let's add a little pretty print to the outfit so i'm like okay it would be so cute if i wore the scarf like that you know giving very european vibes but i don't know like what should i do y'all i wish i was here with me well y'all are here with me but like you know what i mean so this is giving like this vibe and then with these glasses and then or my lovely the black just does it the black Chanel's. What y'all think? What y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? The white does pop more though. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit more of a pop. It's a bit more. 
<sighs> I don't know. I'm trying to get 10 scans today. Just a little casual. Okay. Anyway, so that's how the scarf will be. Or I can just do like our little retro little one too. Because <clears throat> I kind of want my earrings to show. These are so fire. Like these are my favorite earrings right now. Like I was begging right for these. I'm like, I need them. And then, or I can wear the scarf like this. Like giving very much Y2K. Like not, you know, I'm trying to protect my hair cause it is raining, but I am gonna wash my hair tonight. I don't know if I said this cause it's a little dirty. <clears throat> I can wear my hair like this. Scarf like this, tight, tight. One, two, and then with my glasses. So it would be these ones. My cool girl. Or these. Probably the black. The black is just, and then I will wear this bag. With this Amazon bag, and then my little frog for a pop of color. Y'all, this bag charm is so cute. I want to get more like 3D ones. This is from Amazon as well. So like, like that. And then I was just wear my Hermes slides because that's the only casual shoe that I have, unfortunately. So, and I love how wide these pants are. But yeah, this is the outfit. So, okay, let me do my last minute touches. I'm gonna do lip. Add some more skincare to the skin because we've been bare faced out here. And then, um, yeah. So I'll probably see y'all once we head out. So I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I spent that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second. Man, it's so hard not to act reckless. To whom much is given, much is tested. Get arrested, guess until he get the message. I feel the pressure under more scrutiny. And what I do, act more stupidly. Bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through to me. The drama, people suing me. I'm on TV talking like it's just you and me. Just saying how I feel, man. I ain't one of the Cosby's. I ain't go to Hill, man. I guess the money should have changed them. I guess I should have forgot where I came from. Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Uh -uh. Hey, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and do
this was the only place I could go. And now you're leaving, just like that. Why do you have to go? Yesterday was so good, y'all. Okay, let me tell y'all about yesterday because I don't think I checked in after I had sushi. So I went to Roka Sushi and it was so good, y'all. 10 out of 10. The yellow toast sashimi was so good. The Wagyu was so good. And uh, every time I eat Wagyu, I have to eat it with truffle like sauce or something. And theirs was 10 out of 10. It was so good. So buttery, it melts in your mouth like, ugh. Love me a good wagyu so if you're in london after i go to roko roka sushi and everything else was good too like the dumplings and stuff so then i went to this electric cinema y'all know i love movies and i wanted to spend time in that theater but they was playing like some movie called the critic and it looked like i was just gonna fall asleep especially since after i just ate so i really didn't want to you know waste unnecessary money on that so i was like okay maybe i can come back and see beetlejuice or something like that but it was such a vibe in there. If you ever come to London, you have to go to the electric cinema, like the red interior, the big couches, the lounges. Then they got a popcorn machine. You can order food. They got the old like Coca-Cola. It's like giving all money like movie vibes, which I really like and enjoy. I love the aesthetic in there. And it's small too. It's only a one screen movie theater. So they only have select films on the screen. So yeah, that was the only issue, but it was so cute in there. Like, oh my God. And then came back to the hotel and then I washed my hair. Last night I put my hair in my roller set and they look so much better. I brought my hair back to life. I needed it. Cause yesterday I was trying to film some content for Adobe and unfortunately I have to work out here too. So that's what I'm about to focus on today. I have to focus on getting content for Adobe and I forgot that I had to take content out, out here so I didn't bring the necessary camera which is unfortunate so it's just like i was trying to film it off my iphone but it wasn't giving the same quality content so once you like start posting good quality content you want to keep making quality content and deliver all the time for the brand for the audience you know what i'm saying so i just don't feel comfortable making a video out of the content that i have to do so i'm gonna pivot into pictures so i'm like okay i gotta make sure my hair is cute I'm gonna make sure the outfit is cute. So I'm about to go get this blazer. Cause y'all know I've been on a hunt for a really good blazer. And I just seen the H&M blazer that I tried on earlier in the vlog. I was like, that's probably the best blazer I tried on this whole trip. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna get it. And it's pretty affordable. And it's their new H&M studio brand. So, but yeah. Um, I just have on Fury jewelry and I just have on all black, nothing major. And I'm just gonna throw on that. And then I'm gonna stop by Borough Market and see the vibes there. <laughs> I can't talk right now. But yeah, yesterday and also yesterday I got hungry last night because the jet lag has been eating your girl up. I've been up till like 4 a.m. and then I won't wake up until 12. So, but the room service at this hotel is so good. And what's crazy is they don't have truffle fries on the menu, but they made the truffle fries. Like the customer service, going above and beyond is the customer service is 10 out of 10 like wow and i was gonna go to london today but i'm not because like i said i have work to do and i just don't feel like going i don't feel like traveling right now so i'm like okay well i'll just go tomorrow and like have a day there and then come back so let's make my way out first stop is h&m and then to borough market and hopefully my footage comes out how I want to because I have to turn the stuff in like today. Y'all, I was telling y'all how my hotel has, they always have these desserts sitting out. Not sitting out, but in a container. So I wanted to try one because I was very curious because they look so good. So this one, the man was saying this is his favorite. It's like matcha, white chocolate, and strawberry. So have a little go. Let's have a little taste test. Mm. It tastes like a matcha strawberry cheesecake. Definitely so good. So y'all, I just got to the 
H&M and it's cute over here but they got plenty of these jackets so I'm about to see which size I want so this is the 8 and the 10 let me go find them here y'all so checking in i just changed hotels and i should have changed hotels a long time ago okay i was trying to extend my stay for today one more day um at the hotel i was staying at but they were fully booked they were literally having a, a movie premiere right by the movie theater in the area where the hotel is for the joker and y'all know lady gaga is in it i'm like okay that's probably why they sold out today but i'm happy they were not all worked out because i was ended up i ended up changing hotels and this is the hotel name pan pacific and it's so cute in here and it's bigger and they also have a nice in here dryer like what the f I may rewash re my hair just so I can use the Dyson hair dryer. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just going to explore for a little bit. Um, They have a whole bunch of bikes outside, which I'm so excited about because I've been wanting to bike ride out here. But being careful because I do snatch her phone on a bike. Girl, they are ruthless out here when it comes to phone snatching. This hotel also has a pool, a gym, and a bunch of stuff. So I kind of want to go see the pool um because they said it was gorgeous it's heated whatever and then go grab something small to eat come back edit chill and then i have dinner reservations tonight at an exciting restaurant because i love indian cuisine so london has some of the best indian cuisine and this is supposed to be a michelin star restaurant that i'm going to so that's the update do a little bit ex exploring on the bike holiday
y'all so i made it to harrods the i both I, bike ride to harrods or whatever and y'all know this powder bag has been everywhere gorgeous okay the suede one has been oh my god it's so cute i don't think they have this way I don't have this way one. Do we have this way one? Oh, really? That's crazy. Yeah, they were limited. Oh, yeah. 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 So you gotta be fast. Eh? No, this one you can't wear any shoulder, unfortunately. <laughs> this one only like this, eh? or oh. here. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's so, so of course I had to make it over to the third section Something. in here. And y'all, uh, I just came across this. It caught my eye. My arm is still so off the scene now, but this one's so good. I literally just picked it up. Oh, hello. I like this. Y'all know I'm a sunglasses kind of cooler. These Tom Fords, what are they giving? Are they giving rat, snag, or let it be? You smell good, what you put on? Y'all just stopped at Hermes in Harrods. Um, so I'm looking for the gold mules, y'all. I just tried on the first pair. And they're like a shearling sheep with um, like a brown. I feel like the brown is so orange, but it's giving like orange like that. Um, so I don't know, like it's giving an Ugg boot, but like in a claw type of Birkenstock type of form. And they also have the black, oh she about to bring it to me. Yeah, the black is cute. Do you want this shoe board? Huh? Oh yeah. Okay. So, so these are what they look like, but I'm going to show you all the other pair.
It's clear skies and great vibes all week. Get outside, get on your hot girl walk. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Hey y'all. So I gotta update y'all, okay? So y'all know that girl, that Hurricane Helen, Helen, whatever the, her name is. Okay, so she has me stranded here. I mean, not a bad thing to be stranded in London. So, okay, cool. Extending my flight. I have another extra day, but yesterday, y'all, I didn't do nothing. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm getting a little sicky sick. Stuff in my nose. I'm very congested and I'm just, uh. But that's why yesterday I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna chill, take vitamin C. I got some drinks from y'all the juice, <clears throat> go away doc or whatever. But just stuff good for my throat. And uh, I took my hair out, showered. After the dish room, all I remember is the last footage from the dish room because I was trying to go to, I was trying to go to Gym Kana, but apparently you need like a two month advance reservation, which they don't really have a reservation until December, which is crazy. Yesterday, I didn't do anything. <clears throat> I worked a little bit, turned some stuff in, and now today, I'm back outside. Oh, um, back outside. I'm gonna try to go to the Notting Hill area. And also there is another market, kind of like similar to Barrel Market, but it's called Springfield Market. I'm in Springfield area. So many things to do, so many restaurants around here. Yeah, we're outside and it's so gloomy and rainy out. Y'all, I have no motivation to get dressed anymore. Like that's why I was like, you know what? I'm taking my hair out. The quick we was old anyways. I'm like, it gotta go. It wasn't really motivating me to get dressed. I have so many outfits I didn't wear. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm just going with the vibes. Like, these are the best trips. You just go with the vibes, go with the flow. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <clears throat> let's go. How we're in London. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to 
y'all about my favorite dessert place I went to in London. It's called Humble Crumble. Basically, y'all, imagine apple crisp hot ice cream. It's melted custard, or you can have it frozen. And they have so many toppings, y'all. This was so good please if you go in london please go for me and have one because this is so good okay i love apple crisp but sometimes it can be too much especially with the apples and stuff i just love the crisp and the custard and they just understood so with mines i opted for the melted custard with the crumble and it had apple in the middle and it was so good it has everything you need it has custard it has crunch it has a little bit of sweetness mm, chef's kiss Hey y'all, we are back in the A. I have devastating news. Uh, this is the first time this has happened to me. First of all, I'm sick, okay? I don't know what's going on over there in Europe, but baby, your girl's down, okay? I just got back yesterday morning. Everybody and their mama was coming back from Europe, London to Atlanta specifically, because all the flights were sold out. I had to take this long ass flight. I only like doing non-stops, especially on the way back. Who wants to be doing all these stops at these different airports? I just want to get home. My overlay is in San Francisco, right? So London, San Francisco, San Francisco, Atlanta. So you have to recheck your bag, whatever. <clears throat> Y'all, the worst has happened to me. This is exactly why I don't check a bag. In a reminder, make sure all your valuables are with you. Y'all, why is my bag still in London? I'm so irritated. So I'm literally having a mini panic attack because I'm I'm trying to stay calm. <laughs> my anxiety was going through the roof. I didn't want to miss my flight. First of all, I'm circling around around. Where's my bag? Did somebody just take my bag? So I go to the help counter and he's like, oh yeah, your bag's here. He was like, let's go look for it. Baby, my bag didn't even leave the airport, okay? I have an air tag and it says, last seen 
London Heathrow. So why is you lying to me, circling around here like my bag is here, trying to make me feel better? No. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna look for your bag. I'm gonna look downstairs. Um, just go on your flight and file a report when you get to Atlanta. So I was like, okay, bet. So I'm like, whatever, like it is what it is. I mean, in my check bag, I have, oh my God, look at my hair. But the bag is supposedly supposed to be here today. So we gonna see, that's what they said yesterday about my bag. Why is this happening? Like, life goes on. So I'm back home, I'm sick, I'm trying to recover, whatever. But anyways, London was such a good trip. Y'all are asking me if I can make a list on restaurants. Everything will be linked in the description box. Make sure you check it out. Everything I wore, places I went to, everything will be in the description box. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts and everything together because I don't just don't understand how my bag is lost. Can y'all imagine if I put my camera in my check bag or anything valuable in there? And Delta would have been owing me some money some money oh my god look at my nails you would have thought i would have been squabbing out there with the delta people okay i look crusty i'm so sorry but i just want to come up on here and end this video off oh and let me show y'all i showed y'all the hermes slides but let me show y'all these shoes that i got i can't even show y'all my new perfume that i got in london because it's in my check bag i think i showed y'all in the store i'm not sure like did i even show y'all I got these cute Adidas Samba. And I love the blue and the dark brown chocolate stitching within the shoelace. I think that's really cute as far as like a little touch on these sneakers. And these have been my favorite. I've been wearing these every day. I wore them yesterday. <coughs> I got this brown coat. It's like a cute little bomber. And it's like oversized. I got this to the size small. But this fit me so well. I will try it on, but I don't feel like it right now. But I I just think this is so cute for the fall. I've just been loving brown fall suede colors. And I just can't wait to start finally taking fall pictures, especially for Instagram. That wraps up this video. I hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you leave a comment down below or something just so we can talk. Oh my God. And I cannot wait to get my lip, my filler dissolved. Like this, I am planning on going to get my filler dissolved. I was going to go last month, but I missed my appointment with Beta. Y'all, my lip, if y'all see that, the filler has migrated and I just cannot wait to dissolve my top lip, it, it has to go. I was planning my content actually on videos I wanna film and I was like, maybe I should talk about the Botox and filler like I regret, I regret. Cause there's so many like filler appointments that I've had, not with Vita though, not with Vita in the past that I was just like, why did I do that? But now that I'm older, I'm like, I really don't want this. Like there's LED light therapy. I mean, filler and Botox, sometimes it's necessary or whatever. I need to just start, you know, embracing my natural features. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stopped wearing lashes. Now it's just time to work on this filler and not getting, you know, so much. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should rock my natural lip or something and just get a lip flip. Also, when I take photos now, I can see it. So it's just like, I don't like that. And also, I'm trying to work on my time management. As I got, <laughs> as I sit here and reflect on how many times I done missed a flight, I've been late to functions. If I miss something, I'm the type of person that will be like, well, maybe I wasn't supposed to be there. I don't have no sense of urgency to try to even make it. I'm just like, well, the cutoff time is the cutoff time. So it is what it is. And it's for like specific events or something like that. I'm just like, whatever, it is what it is. And I'm not trying to be like that anymore. I just cannot live like this. So I've been working on trying to prep myself to get better at showing up on time and stuff because baby, I'm getting older and everybody's time is valuable. Like even going to my hair appointments, I should be on time going to like simple things because everybody has time is really valuable like as i get older time is something that needs to be valued more in my life and i'm just like i'm over it i cannot live like this i can't be rushing and stuff i just no like i don't want to do it no more i don't want to keep trying to reschedule my flights for same day because i'm running late and stuff like it just has to stop
when I look up time just goes so fast like I don't even know if this is getting anywhere but I'm just doing self reflecting right now in my life and I just moving forward for the remainder of the year and then on I just want to be better at time management because I just can't do this no more I don't know how we got to talking like this but I just been doing some self reflecting on things that I want to change about myself internally mentally just overall and as I reflect I'm literally sitting back and like I'm like wow I've been giving myself so many chances to get better but that's the beauty about self-love and that's the crazy part about growing up and maturing and getting older and just realizing self-love is the best love and you will always be your biggest project and there is no limit to when it comes to yourself and working on yourself that's why I always say I don't care if I gotta rebrand I'm gonna do it I'm constantly evolving constantly changing so I'm just like you know what what has to be done has to be done you know yeah I'm just doing a lot of self reflecting at this moment in my life so yeah I don't know if it's the weather the quarter or what but I just want to do what I need to do for myself and to be better but I gotta take care of this cold first that wraps up this vlog I hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah I'll see y'all next video